uh, Honorable Sechikubo asked that we should stop arrests. And I am saying that is impossible. Arrests will continue in as far as there is reason to do so. Because to say no arrest, supposing there is a thief tomorrow, and then we, because we have said there will be no arrest, then we don't arrest the thief. So I cannot stand here and say there will be no arrest. No. That will be a wrong statement on my part, and I would like Honorable Sechikubo to understand that this matter will continue as long as it is reasonably carried out. The Honorable J.J. Odong. Why? <clears throat> the first time he came here, he presented 40-something names, but he was only able to account for 13 by that time. The others, he didn't know where they were. Maybe God is good. They have now reigned from, from heaven. The Minister of Internal Affairs, a general in the military, he didn't know where people were. He has now not explained where they have come from. He, he, somehow, miraculously, he has come with a list. But for me, Mr. Speaker, the most important point is that uh, this government now admits that it kidnapped people. Because the minister responsible for police did not know where these people were. In fact, he only knew about 44, but was able to account for only 13. Now he has brought a list to tell us somehow they were there. Someone had them. And he said, I have the honor to present a list of kidnapped people. Which honor? You should be having a regret. People didn't know where their relatives are, and for you, you have an honor now to bring a list. Mr. Speaker, can I ask uh, the following question? First, the Honorable J.J. Odong, who was in the military around the 1980 elections and helped uh, Geno Sare to escape from prison, whether it doesn't bother him as a person that the things that were done by the previous military in which he served, leading to the helping of General Sari to escape, you, uh, you helped him. Whether it doesn't bother you that the, the military, so many years later, is doing the things that you did when you were in the military. There should be no cause for excitement. These are serious matters about people's lives. Point number two. Whether it doesn't bother you that uh, agencies in our constitution in, and some other laws that are not responsible for arresting citizens, civilians, have arrested them, kidnapped them, and they are only handing over to you a list for you to carry to parliament and be happy to present it. Does it need to bother you as a Minister for Internal Affairs? Finally, Mr. Speaker, I still have people in my constituents arrested. I don't know where they are. This list, I will be glad if the Honorable J.J. Odongo can go name by name, tell us the reason where because I fear this parliament might be used as a, as a clearing house. The correction I would like to make is the missing name number 166. The name should be Musinguzi John. Musinguzi John, number 166. The second correction I would like to make is in reference to the matter you have just raised. The list reads missing persons. The word missing should be in inverted commas. The fact that, that there was a typographical error 
has made a big difference. The word missing should be in inverted commas because they are not actually missing, they are with us. Three, the third correction I would like to make is in reference to a statement made by Honorable Semuju. Honorable Semuju stated that I helped General Salim Saleh to escape. Kindly check your facts. The person who did that was not General J.J. Odong. It was another person. And I know the person, but I will not tell you. Find out. Now, an allegation was made that this list, by, by being presented or laid on table, I was making it confidential. No. I thought it was procedurally right to make it available for all colleagues to access it by placing it in a public place. There is nothing confidential in a matter that has already been laid on table. Secondly, I want us all to agree that the matter we are discussing of missing person in brackets is an evolving matter. I started, in, if you recollect, on 4th February by informing you of 44 names that I was aware of. And I promised we would continue to do investigations. Today, I am telling you, I am now aware of an additional 177. That does not mean I have laid the matter to rest. I am continuing to investigate, to establish the matter, and as I get additional information, I will be coming back to this house to say these are the additional names of persons I have been able to establish, and this is where they are. For this matter, therefore, I would like to encourage all of you and all Ugandans, if indeed you have a concern about a missing person, report to the police. Let us have the details so that we can carry out an investigation and establish and report back that the name of a person by the called Kibalama John, for example, who was arrested on the 30th of June 2019 from Kawempe, was arrested for this reason, he is here. So if I can get those additional concerns and complaints, I'll be very happy to follow them up, like indeed Honorable Mpuga has done. He has laid here and a list of 436 names. I am glad to receive it. I am going to go through our system. I will establish whether indeed we can establish where these individuals are, and I will be happy to come back here to report again. Now he has 170-something. Maybe he will help Parliament tell us whether now this is the only list available within the government, because that's time he had said 44, now 178. And Mr. Speaker, it's important for him, because a summary can be given, even if he doesn't give details, you want to know who arrested these people because he says they are arrested. He can give us a summary of who were arrested by Chivoko Scott, who were arrested by Kakoza Mutare, who were arrested, just for Parliament to know, because this is important. There are people who were kidnapped from where, wherever they are kidnapped from taken to some disciplinary committees of military somewhere without anyone knowing. And eventually, the ones you're talking about in Chitaria, their relatives don't know where they were because they were quietly produced somewhere before a, 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 a major and then driven to Chitaria. So up to now, even the, the, the list, I mean, the people you're talking about who are in Chitaria, people don't know they are there. The minister says, this list is available. 
with the chief political commissioner of police. These are just 117 people. They don't take 10 minutes to read. And he says, don't crowd there looking at them as if it's a list of gold. Just present to us a list because you are asked by parliament to do so, not to come and table. There is a difference between presenting and tabling. What you have done is tabling, laying on paper, and then you are very happy to go and see. This parliament asked you to present, not to lay. Presenting means you read name by name. And then even the people you fear that will crowd the police will not crowd. This will save um, honorable members asking the same questions. I have a list that I will want to compare with the one that you are reading. Um, Mr. Speaker, when those issues are answered, then I don't have to come back and say, but I'm not hearing these ones. So can the minister, um, with the permission of the speaker, answer those questions? It's indeed the public, and that's what I'm asking you to do. Secondly, uh, Honorable Sechikubo asked that we should stop arrests, and I am saying that is impossible. Arrests will continue in as far as there is reason to do so. Because to say no arrest, supposing there is a thief tomorrow, and then we, because you have said there will be no arrest, then we don't arrest the thief. So I cannot stand here and say there will be no arrest. No. That will be a wrong statement on my part, and I would like Honorable Sechikubo to understand that this matter will continue as long as it is reasonably carried out. Minister. Secondly, I wanted you to know we'll that the as Honorable Sechkubo is saying, don't do this, you are asking us wrong. His colleagues are continuing to give me lists of persons they think are missing. And I welcome this, and I encourage you to do that. Thank you. Clarification, Honorable Minister.